Welcome to this tutorial on preparing an image for laser engraving. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can make use of the tools within CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X4 so that you'll be able to easily engrave an image onto wood. Now it's easy to understand that when you take a photograph or scan an image in, there are a number of variables such as contrast and brightness, highlights and shadow details. What we'll need to do is create a starting point for our image that we're going to work on. For this type of workflow, we'll be using Corel Photo Paint that is included within Corel Draw Graphics Suite X4. I will start with my design opened in Corel Draw, and with my bitmap selected, from the interactive property bar, I will select Edit Bitmap. This will open my image in Photo Paint, where I'm going to be doing the conversions that are required. Now, it's very important that you work on an image that is the size that you'll be using for your final output. You do not want to upsample or downsample the image after you have prepared it for laser engraving. If you wish to add a vignette or other special effects, this should be done before you go through these steps. To prepare this image, from the Adjust menu, I'm going to select Auto Adjust. What this will do is equalize the image by adjusting the brightness, contrast, and intensity. Next, from the Adjust menu, I'm going to bring up the Contrast Enhancement dialog box. Here, we'll select the Auto Adjust filter. This will auto adjust the black and white limits and help to equalize the shadows, midtones, and highlights by averaging out the color and tonal range. Next, by selecting Gamma Adjustment, it will allow you to reveal detail in a low contrast image without significantly affecting the shadows or highlights. I'm going to set the gamma adjustment to 2.0 and then click OK. Next, we need to set the contrast. I'll go to Adjust, then Brightness Contrast Intensity. The Brightness Contrast Intensity filter lets you change the brightness, contrast, and of course intensity of an image. You can shift pixel values up or down the tonal range. Adjusting the brightness lightens or darkens all colors equally. Contrast and intensity usually work together because increasing the contrast can wash out details in shadows and highlights. However, increasing intensity can restore this detail. In this window, I'll set the contrast to 20% and then click OK. We now need to give our image the illusion of depth. To do this, we'll use the emboss effect within Photo Paint. From the Effects menu, I'll select 3D Effects and then go to Emboss. Emboss transforms an image into a relief with details appearing as ridges and crevices on a flat surface. In this process, we want to set a shallow depth. I'm going to use a depth of 2. The level will determine how sharp or how smooth the edges are. We'll use 200 for this. And of course, direction dictates the direction that the light would hit the raised portions. I'll set this to 45 degrees, although this is not critical. And finally, the color. For this, I want to use the color from the original image to maintain the widest color range possible before converting to black and white. I'll click OK, and we're done here. Now that we're finished adjusting our image, the final step is to convert it to black and white. From the Image menu, I'll select Black and White, and I'm going to use the Jarvis Conversion Method. This logarithm will allow us to control the individual pixels by adjusting the threshold, screen type, and intensity. I'll leave the intensity at 100 and click OK. Now, it's just a matter of saving the file. I can easily do this by closing out of Photo Paint and selecting Yes to saving the file. By selecting Yes, all of these changes that have been applied to the image will be saved in the CorelDRAW file. And now, I simply need to output my image to the engraver using the manufactured recommended settings for the wood that I'll be using. As you can see, with a bit of knowledge and a little experimentation, it can be both fun and rewarding to be able to engrave your photos on wood and get pleasing results. All of this is possible because of the power behind CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X4.